pia mechi ya kihistoria nchini Tanzania na ingawa Kogalo walipoteza mchano huo wachezaji walipata motisha na ari ya kujikuza kisoka haya hapa matukio na matukio ya mechi hiyo kwa wale ambao walikosa still just about got possession despite getting his ankles wrapped in another good spin again from the youngster and he finds Wayne Rooney Rooney has a little look up goes for goal oh, and scores a fantastic goal and Wayne Rooney is back and how well we touched on it earlier on the finish look what he turns he's a long long way out he has a little look he picks his target and 34 minutes into his new Everton career Wayne Rooney finds the back of the net remember the name <laughs> remember the name no one's forgotten it Darren <laughs> Now, it's dare I suggest, goal. dare I suggest that that's not dissimilar to... Moses Declenberg just organising his defence. Gorman here aren't exactly pouring players forward. But I tell you what, they had enough in there because Jacques Tuasenge has headed Gorman here level. It's one apiece. James Stewart. Yeah, well, that's going to frustrate Ronald Koeman. It's a, it's a run that's gone unnoticed at the near post. No one's... Yeah, I mean, this is a terrific ball from Tom Davis. The vision to pick out Kieran Dow. His first touch was terrific. Took it on the inside. Sets himself up with a second strike. And the delight in his face there to know that he scored a great goal. And his young partner, Tom Davis, there comes to congratulate him. First to congratulate him. But it's a terrific strike. You know, could the keeper have done a little bit better? You could argue it from this angle. Na ilikuwa mechi ya kwanza kwa Everton katika matayarisho yao ya msimu mpya na matokeo hayo yalimpa nguvu mkufunzi Ronald Kuman kuwa kikosi chake kinaimarika anapojiandaa kwa msimu mpya wa ligi kuu nchini Uingereza. Yes, he's, he's still one of the best players on his position. I think he's also a, a winner. He knows how to win titles. That's what we want. I think it's uh, a great experience for the for the young boys in Everton to play on the side of rain and uh, we spoke about we need more productivity for the strikers and and he showed today uh, in a difficult uh, start in the game he by his quality we scored a goal and that's what we need and then he had a great performance he's, he's still uh, that player who, who will make the team better and uh, if we keep his fitness if we can improve his fitness like everybody then he's really a key player for Everton uh, ni maoni yake aliyekuwa mkufunzi wa Saints lakini hivi sasa ni mkufunzi na kocha wa Toffees nchini Uingereza almaarufu Everton baada kwa saidi kuandikisha ushindi kumbuka Everton baada hapo wanaelekea nchini Uholanzi ambapo watacheza mechi ya kirafiki dhidi ya FC20 kisha baada hapo wataingia nchini uh, ni nchini Belgiji ambapo watachuana na timu ya Genk kabla ya kurudi Uingereza kumalizana udhia na klabu ya Sevilla kutoka Hispania katika mechi za kujifima nguvu ili kujiandaa ama matayarisho ya msimu mpya wa ligi kuu nchini Uingereza kabla ya kungwananga tarehe 12 mwezi Agosti mwaka huu msimu mpya mwaka 2017 mwaka 2018 uh, nimekuuliza swali ama nimekwambia utupatie maoni yako kuhusiana na jinsi Kogalo walivyojitahidi hapo jana dhidi ya Everton katika uwanja wa kitaifa wa Dar es Salaam nchini Tanzania e, kupitia baadhi ya maoni kwenye rafa mbili mbili moja tano tano e, jamaa anasema mchezo wao kweli ulikuwa mzuri e, ulikuwa mzuri wali, walipungukiwa kidogo tu katika safu ya ulinzi na mlinzi aliye mzoefu Zack Namiti wa Nyegezi akiwa maeneo ya Mwanza shukrani sana ni Joshua Kandawala from Kibisi Bungoma County Gor walijaribu sana na pia walijifunza mengi sana ningependa sana Gor wacheze huko nchini kama walivyocheza hapo jana Gor Mahia walionesha mchezo mzuri lakini hawana mli ndalango Vitalis kutoka maeneo ya Viga shukrani sana kwa maoni yako nafikiri Gor walicheza vyema ingawa kipindi cha pili walifungwa bao la pili lakini kivyangu Kongole kwa mchezo mzuri waliocheza ni Mwas kutoka Githurai 44 asante sana Gor iko juu sana congrats vijana wa nyumbani ni Zachary Junior kutoka maeneo ya Nyamira asante sana Gor walijaribu na kujifunza mengi kutoka kwa timu ya Everton ni Bramwell nikiwa maeneo ya Mbale Ebu uh, Gusia club ya Arsenal ni Zachary kutoka Nyamira Sharifa za Arsenal uh, bado manaki Arsenal baada ya kumsajili mchezaji Alexandra Lacazette eh, na pia mlinzi yule Kolasinac kutoka Shakofo bado anamfukuzia mchezaji 
e, winga yule Lema kutoka e, klabu ya Monaco lakini bado walienda na pauni milioni 30 zikakataliwa pauni milioni 40 zikataliwa na hivi sasa wametoa pauni milioni 45 bado Monaco wanadinda kumwachilia Lema ndizo taarifa za klabu ya Arsenal katika uhamisho wa wachezaji e, endapo atamkosa basi huenda kuna fununu kuwa huenda wakamfuata E, kiungo wa Leicester City Riyad Mahrez lakini bado haijathibitishwa ndizo fununu kutoka klabu ya Arsenal katika ziara yao e, katika kanda Afrika Mashariki wachezaji wa klabu ya Everton walipata fursa ya kutangamana na jamii tofauti na kujionea tamaduni asili zeno hili hebu tazama You've been expert with Tanzania now, aren't you? You were here a few weeks ago. Yeah, almost, almost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, I had a trip with my wife after our wedding to to do a safari and everything. So I had the chance before, you know, to meet uh, to meet these people and uh, the Maasai uh, the Maasai culture. We spent one day, I think, meeting them. So it was uh, it, it was nice. It was a a, a very nice trip. And uh, and yeah, I'm not an expert yet, but uh, I picked up some uh, some words. And um, and yeah, it's uh, it's nice. It's always interesting when you come to these places to meet um, the, the people from here and try and learn a bit about the culture here and um, it was good. I think um, obviously a different way of living to what we're used to back home but it's interesting to see how people live and how people survive um, in different countries.